Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Now we continue topic 9 differentiation lecture 3 of 4 part 3 of 3. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to find uh, sorry, solve problem involving the combination of differentiation rule. Solve problems of differentiation involve product rule, question rule, chain rule, and power rule. Example 8. Find the first derivative of the function given below. A f x equals to e x to the power of 3 minus x squared minus 1. To solve this question, you need to let u equals to e to the power of 3x. Then you will get u prime equals to 3e 3x. V is equals to the second term that is x squared minus 1. Then you will get v prime equals to 2x. To use the product rule here, you need to memorize the formula that is differentiate f equals to f prime equals to u v prime plus v u prime. Means you have to cross here v multiply with u prime, so it's v x squared minus 1 multiply with v prime 3e 3x plus u v prime u is equal to e to the power of 3x, v prime 2x. To solve this uh, solution, you need to factorize. The uh, equal term here, that is e to the power of 3x. Okay? Then, you will get e to the power of 3x, then the remaining term is 3 x squared minus 1 plus 2x simplify to get e to the power of 3, 3x 3 x squared plus 2x minus 3 okay so this is the final answer for f prime x thank you Now, we continue to example B. fx equals to e to the power of 2x over 1 plus ex. To solve this, you will we will use question rule here. So, u over v where u is equals to e to the power, power of 2x. Therefore, u prime or du dx equals to 2e 2x. Then, v. v is equals to 1 plus ex dv dx or v prime equals to ex so you need to memorize the formula for question rule f prime x is equal to v multiply with u prime minus u v prime over v squared so you have to substitute the formula here v multiply with u prime so 1 plus ex multiply with u prime 2e2x minus u e to the power of 2x v prime is ex over v squared 1 plus ex squared then you don't have to factorize but you have uh, you don't have to expand but you need to factorize so now one more time you need to factorize e to the power of 2x here because e to the power of 2x we have uh, for both term here so e to the power of 2x the remaining term is 2 multiply with 1 plus ex for the second term you have to write ex close the bracket over 1 plus ex squared. Remember, you don't have to expand. Yeah, you need to factorize. What I what I do here is I factorize e to the power of ex. Then simplify e to the power of, of 2x. Uh, this one you need to factorize. 
and you get 2 plus 2 e x minus e x over 1 plus e x squared. So final the final answer is e to the power of 2x multiply with 2 plus e x over 1 plus e x squared close the bracket okay so i hope you understand thank you okay now we continue as a c fx equals to x squared multiply with ln 3x plus 1 so as usual you need to differentiate u and u prime u is equals to the first term x squared u prime equals to 2 x v is equals to ln 3 x plus 1 and v prime equals to you need to memorize the formula 1 over 3 x plus 1 then differentiate 3 x plus 1 the answer is 3 okay so we will use power rule here power rule so f prime x or df dx okay the f dx or f prime x equals to u multiply with v prime so x squared multiply with 3 over 3 x plus 1 plus v is ln 3 x plus 1 you have to cross with this one 2 x so the answer is what is the in uh, the, the same term here you need to factorize x okay factorize x so factor out x and the remaining term is 3x over 3x plus 1 plus we have 2 in front multiply with ln 3x plus 1 close the bracket so this is the simplest form we just leave the answer like this okay thank you okay now we continue d fx equals to ln at minus 1 over at plus 1 firstly you need to simplify first okay simplify the expression for ln we call back ln a over b can be written as ln a minus ln b. So for this expression, for this function, ln fx is equals to ln x minus 1 minus ln x plus 1. Okay, now the function is simple and ready to be differentiate left and right side. So differentiate f, you will get f prime x. Okay, differentiate ln at minus 1, the answer is 1 over at minus 1. Differentiate 1 is 1. So, minus 1 over at plus 1. Differentiate x is 1. You don't have to write 1, actually. So, you need to simplify. You cannot leave the answer like this. So, how to simplify? Equalize the denominator that is at minus 1 and at plus 1. So you have to multiply with at plus 1. And here you have to multiply with at minus 1. Simplify to get at minus x. You can cancel out. So the answer is 1 plus 1, 2. 2 over at minus 1 multiply with at plus 1. So this is the simplest form for f prime x. Thank you. Okay, now, e, given fx equals to x squared multiply with e to the power of negative 3x plus 2. So, as usual, you need to find what is u and u prime. u prime. So, u is equals to x squared. If u equals to x squared, u prime is 2x. Then, if u, v equals to e to the power of negative 3x plus 2, so v prime equals to e to the power of negative 3x plus 2, we haven't finished yet, 
you have to differentiate 3x plus 2. The answer is negative 3. Okay, so don't forget to differentiate negative 3x plus 2. So the final answer is negative 3 e negative 3 x plus 2. Therefore, f prime x is equals to v multiply with by u multiply with v prime plus v multiply with u prime. So substitute what is u x squared v prime negative 3 e negative 3 x plus 2 plus v e to the power of negative x plus 2 and u prime is 2 x so how to simplify what is the common uh, term here so you need to factorize the common term is e to the power of negative 3x and we have x here for both them we have x so you have to factorize x e to the power of negative 3x plus 2 okay so the answer is x e to the power of negative 3x plus 2 and inside the bracket the remaining term is negative 3x plus 2 okay so this is the simplest form and the final answer Okay, now we continue with f. Given fx is a trigonometric function, sine x multiplied with cos cube x. So u is equals to sine x. u prime is equals to the Vichy sine, we get cos x. And what is v and v prime? v equals to cos cube x. So v prime is equals to, you have to bring 3 in front, cos squared x, then differentiate only cos x so the answer is v prime equals to 3 cos squared x differentiate cos you will get negative sine x for final answer negative 3 sine x cos squared x so differentiate f you will get f prime equals to u you have to multiply with v prime u v prime plus v u prime so sine x multiply with v prime negative 3 sine x cos squared x plus u is uh, v is cos cube x u prime cos x okay then what you need to do is you, you see that this term can be uh, simplified so that's this term so the answer is negative 3 sine squared x cos squared x plus cos to the power of 4x okay then the like term here is cos x to the power of 2 so you need to factorize cos squared x. Okay, factorize cos squared x. Okay, so f prime x equals to cos squared x. So the remaining inside is negative 3 sine squared x plus cos squared x. Okay, then you can sim simplify to get cos squared x, negative 3 plus 1, the answer is, neg oh sorry, negative 3 squared, then you can uh, simplify um, by using identity, sine squared can be changed to cos by using sine squared x is equals to 1 minus cos squared x use the identity so here negative 3 sine squared there I will substitute with 1 minus cos squared x 
close the bracket plus cos squared x therefore the final answer is cos squared x multiply with 4 cos squared x minus 1 ok so this is the simplest form thank you g given fx equals to ln set 1 minus 2x over x plus 1 so firstly you need to simplify first by using rule of ln simplify to get fx equals to ln set 1 minus 2x minus ln at plus 1 then simplify to get half of ln 1 minus 2x minus ln at plus 1 please take note that I have a differentiate yet but I still simplify for the second time here okay i still simplify so this is the simplest form now the function ready to be differentiate now we are going to the differentiate both side with respect to x so differentiate f we get f prime x now half multiply with ln we were going to use product rule here half differentiate ln the answer is 1 over 1 over 1 minus 2x remember we haven't finished yet you have to differentiate 1 minus 2x okay differentiate 1 minus 2x then minus differentiate ln at plus 1 is 1 over at plus 1 differentiate at plus 1 is 1 Okay, so the answer is half of negative 2 over 1 minus 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. Then 2 and 2 here can be cancelled out. So the answer is negative 1 over 1 minus 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, then we are going to simplify. to get f prime x is equals to negative of x plus 1 minus 1 minus 2x over the numerator is 1 minus 2x multiply with x plus 1 okay then simplify you will get negative x minus 1 minus 1 plus 2x so the answer is 2 add minus x x minus 2 over 1 minus 2x multiply with x plus 1 okay so you need to uh, equalize the denominator here okay so this is the simplest form thank you Now we continue with example H given fx equals to set of x squared plus second to x plus 3. Okay. We are going to solve this question by using power rule here. After you change set into x squared plus second to x plus 3 to the power of half. So please take note that this is 1 over 2 is the power and n is equal to 1 over 2 so you we are going to use power rule here power rule please remember power rule if given fx y equals to fx to the power of n then y prime is equals to you have to bring n in front then copy paste fx then the power for n you have to minus 1 then you have to go on to differentiate differentiate fx 
okay so this is how we are going to do now by using power rule so you have to recognize what is fx fx here is equals to x squared plus second to x plus 3 and equals to 1 over 2 so f prime x is equals to i will bring 1 over 2 in front and i will copy and paste the function fx that is x squared plus second to at plus three and i will close the bracket and the power 4n is half minus one you will get negative one over two then you have to differentiate the inside the, the function inside what is the function without set so you have to differentiate x squared plus second 2 at plus 3 okay so the answer is 1 over 2 multiply with x squared plus second 2 at plus 3 to the power of negative 1 over 2 then you have multiply with 2x plus differentiate second okay now I write here first you need to differentiate second or you want to differentiate straightforward so I, I write first so you need to differentiate second second to add plus 3 close the bracket okay now continue f prime x is equals to 1 over 2 multiplied with x squared plus second 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 1 over 2 multiply with 2x plus differentiate second the answer is second tangent second 2x plus 3 multiply with tangent 2x plus 3 and don't don't forget to differentiate 2x plus 3 the answer is 2 okay and close bracket okay then we we'll see that 2 you can bring in front here okay so you will get 1 over 2 x squared plus second 2 x plus 3 close a bracket to the power of negative 1 over 2 multiply with i bring 2 in front so the remaining term is x 2 uh, sorry x plus second 2 at plus 3 multiply with tangent 2 at plus 3 now we are going to cancel out 2 here so the final answer is x squared plus second 2 at plus 3 to the power of to the power of negative 1 over 2 then you have to multiply with x plus second 2x plus 3 multiply with tangent 2x plus 3 okay so this is the simplest form for the final answer you should give okay okay thank you Okay, now we continue to example 9. Our last example for chapter 3. Given y equals to 3x plus 4, multiply with e to the power of negative 2x, find dy dx. Then, find also d squared y dx squared. And after that, you have to show that d squared y dx squared plus 4 dy dx plus 4y is equals to 0. So, at the end, you have to Firstly, you need to find out what is dy dx. Secondly, you have to find out d squared y dx squared. Then you have to substitute dy dx here, d squared y dy dx here, and you have to substitute y here, and you have to show that on your right side, you will get zero. Okay, so we start now. You can find dy dx by using product rule by let u equals to 3 plus 4x u prime is equals to 4 
v is equals to e to the power of negative 2x v prime is equals to negative 2e negative 2x okay so now what is y prime or dy dx okay dy dx is equals to u multiply with v prime so 3 plus 4x multiply with negative 2e negative 2x plus v e negative 2x u prime is 4 then as usual you need factorize you need to factorize the like term, term here that is e to the power of negative 2x okay so factorize e to the power of negative 2x the remaining term is negative 2 multiply with 3 plus 4x Okay, let's continue example 9. This is our last example for lecture 3. Given y equals to 3 plus 4x multiplied with e to the power of negative 2x, find dy dx. And find also d squared y dx squared. And show that d squared y dx squared plus 4 dy dx plus y is equals to 0. So we have 3 things to be find here so firstly you need to find dy dx secondly you need to find d squared y dx squared then you have to substitute dy dx here plus 4 dy dx this the first one d squared y dx squared plus 4 you have to substitute dy dx here and last one you have to substitute y here and you have to solve to get the, the final answer is zero on your right side okay so, firstly, you need to find dy dx. Differentiate y is equals to dy dx. Okay. The first term is u and the second term you can let as v. So, now, what is u? u v prime plus v u prime. u is 3 plus 4x. v prime is negative 2 e negative 2 x plus v e negative 2 x u prime is 4 so you have to simplify by factorize as usual you need to factorize the like term here the like term here is negative 2 e negative 2 x factorize negative 2 e negative 2 x so I factor out negative 2e negative 2x. The remaining term is you have 3 plus 4x and for this one you have negative 2 close to bracket. So simplify to get negative 2e negative 2x multiply with 4x plus 1. Okay, so this is dy dx. Then we continue to find d squared y dx squared. d squared y dx squared is equals to. Remember, we just find out what is y. Given y equals to negative two e negative two x multiply with 4x plus 1 so our dx is equals to negative 2e negative 2x multiply with 4x plus 1 okay this is the simplest thought term where you can let the first term is u and the second term is v then you need to let if u equals to negative 2e negative 2x u prime is equals to 
4a negative 2x. v is equals to 4x plus 1. So, v prime equals to 4. So, differentiate y, you will get d squared y dx squared. Okay. So, now I'm going to multiply V multiply with U prime. Okay, so we get 4X plus 1. You multiply with U prime. That is 4, 4E negative 2X plus U. I will multiply with V prime. That is negative 2E negative 2X multiply with 4. Okay. So now, as usual, you need to you need to simplify by factorize. So I will factor out the like term here. That is four e negative two x. Okay, this is the like term. So the remaining term is four x plus one minus two. Okay, so. I factorize the like term that is 4a to the power of 2x. So we continue to get 4x minus 1. Okay, now we just get d squared y dx squared. So I will substitute into the equation d squared y dx squared plus 4 dy dx plus 4y equals to 0. So substitute dy dx first. Okay, dy dx is equals to 4e2x multiply with 4x minus 1 plus 4, then you multiply, uh, substitute dy dx, dy dx is negative 2e, negative 2x, multiply with 4x plus 1, plus 4, y, what is y? You can get y from the original question, the question given to you, that is, y is equals to 3 plus 4x, multiply with e to the power of negative 2 x and you have to solve okay or you, you have to expand now now I will expand to get 4 times 4 that is 16 x e to the power of 2 x minus 4 e negative 2 x minus uh, 32 4 times 32 then you will get minus 32 x e negative 2 x then you get minus 8 e negative 2 x then you will get plus 12 e negative 2 x plus 16 16 x e negative 2 x okay then now you collect the like term the like term here is 16 x e of 2 x minus 32 x e negative 2 x and 16 x e negative 2 x so you will get 32 x e to the power of negative 2x okay I'm sorry I have to put negative in front e to of negative 2x then you have to minus 32x e to the power of negative 2x now I will collect the, the second term that is this one e to the power of negative 2x here Okay, where you will get negative 4 minus negative 8, you will get negative 12. Negative 12, e to the power of negative 2x, 
then you have 12e to the power of negative 2x. The conclusion there is d squared y dx squared plus 4 dy dx plus 4y equals to 0. We just get 0 just now. So, shown. Okay, we have to write the word shown there. Okay, now, I would like to share second method or I call it alternative method. Okay, so, what is alternative method? We will use the first result. Okay, if just now, uh, is if the question is given y equals to 3 plus 4x multiplied with e to the power of negative 2x, we just get dy dx just now. dy dx is equals to 3 plus 4x multiplied with negative 2e negative 2x plus e to the power of negative 2x multiply with 4. We are done before. Then, I want you to alert that the expression that I highlight here now is actually equals to y. Okay? So, dy dx is equals to, we have negative 2 here, so negative 2 y plus 4 e negative 2 x. Okay, so this is dy dx. I call this is the first equation, I call this one is second equation. Okay, we, we have used the first equation and we just sub Substitute into the dy dx to get y here. This is y. Okay. From the second equation, I will simplify to get 4e negative 2x as in terms of dy dx plus 2y. This is from second equation from equation 2 okay from equation 2 you would you will get 4e to the power of negative 2x equals to dy dx plus 2y then you need to differentiate for the second time okay I will differentiate y now differentiate y you will get d squared y dx squared then, okay, if dy dx just now, we just get negative 2y plus 4e negative 2x. So now we differentiate for the second time, we will get d squared y dx squared. Differentiate y, you will get d squared y dx squared equals to negative 2, differentiate y, you will get dy dx. I will use uh, product rule here. This is u and this is b, v. Plus, copy y, and you have to differentiate negative 2. Differentiate negative 2 is 0. Okay, actually you don't have to write, because uh, differentiate negative 2 is 0. Then, plus, copy paste 4, differentiate each of negative 2x, you will get negative 2 e negative 2 x then copy paste negative e to negative negative 2 x differentiate 4 the answer is 0 so you don't have to write this two term therefore you simplify to get negative 2 dy dx minus i will bring 2 in front okay i will group 4 with e negative 2x here why because we just get the result just now that is 4 times e negative 2x is equals to dy dx plus 2y here so i will substitute 
4 times e negative 2y with this one. So, you will get negative 2 dy dx minus 2. So, we have you have to eliminate e to the power of negative 2x. Okay, because we want to show at the end, the conclusion is d squared y dx squared plus 4 dy dx plus 4y equals to 0. So, substitute dy dx plus 2y. Okay, then you will get negative 2 dy dx minus 2 dy dx, you will get negative 4 dy dx. Then minus 4y. This is d squared y dx squared. So now finally, you bring all the them to the left side to get d squared y dx squared plus 4 dy dx plus 4y equals to 0. Then you can cancel out. Okay, so 32x minus 32x is 0. Negative 12e negative 2x plus 12e negative 2x equals to 0.